Assalamu alaikum dear brothers and sisters I will continue with a few more heart touching stories from the life of the exalted prophet sallallahu alaihi wasallam we mentioned about uh, Umm Jamil but uh, there are so many persecutors of the Prophet وسلم, his companions, his family, they evicted them from their homes, forced them to migrate to Medina. Uh, the stories in, in themselves, each one is quite long. But uh, Aqaba bin Mu'id was one of the greatest enemies of the Prophet Whenever he prayed outside the Kaaba, Aqabba bin Mu'id would bring a rope, tie it around the neck of the Prophet and start twisting it. Sometimes he would bring the stomach, the entera of a camel and put them on the back or neck of the Prophet. His little daughter, Hazrat Fatima, used to run and remove the trash, garbage, I would say, uh, from the person of the exalted prophet and sometimes a noble, noble companion would do that. Aqab bin Mu'id was captured once in Medina and uh, the Sahaba Karam wanted to punish him, but Muhammad Sallallahu Alaihi Wasallam said, let him go. Look at the compassion of Rauf and Rahim. Humility, look at this. When Masjid Nabavi was being built in Medina, Muhammad Sallallahu Alaihi joined hands like an ordinary laborer, although the companions, Sahaba Karam, kept protesting. At that time, he also said, one who wants that people kept standing before him must find his abode in the hellfire. That's how humble he was. He mixed up with people and said wherever he found a space. Suhail bin Amro was one of the greatest Orator, orators of Makkah, Quraysh, and he used to give nasty speeches and uh, poetry in crowds against Muhammad He was captured in the Battle of Badr. Some Sahaba Karam wanted to remove his frontal teeth so that he could not speak eloquently but Muhammad sallallahu alayhi wa forgave him, saying that uh, he was uh, cognizant of the justice of the Almighty. He feared him, his, his law of requital. He, Muhammad sallallahu alayhi wa never in, in his life, he took personal revenge against anyone to repeat the Mullah say, well, well, he was a prophet, so it was up to him to forgive people. How can we? But the Sunnah is your beloved. Don't you want to follow the example of the greatest man who ever walked this earth? Hinda, one of the staunchest women enemies of Muhammad Sallallahu Alaihi Wasallam, during the Battle of Uhud, she came under the sword of Hazrat Abu Jandal. He was about to kill her, but Muhammad Sallallahu Alaihi Wasallam gestured to him, No, we do not hurt women and Muslims. Ah, dear brothers and sisters, never, never hurt any woman, child, old man, animal crops even during battles. 
about Taif, everybody knows that Muhammad sallallahu alaihi wasallam went there for preaching. It's a town a few miles from Mecca, and Zaid bin Harsa was with him. The leaders of the town they sent after him very troublesome boys to throw stones upon him. So much so that his uh, feet were bleeding and legs were bleeding. Of course, the body was bleeding and uh, blood was coagulating, clotting in his shoes. Hazrat Zaid bin Harsa said, Why don't you pray against them? He very compassionately said, No, Zaid, if not these, their future generations might embrace the truth. Subhanallah. Even during the very hard fought battle of Fahd, Muhammad sallallahu alayhi wa was heard praying, Oh Allah, please forgive these people since they know not. Zainab, the wife of Salam, a Jewish, a Jewish lady, was the one who invited Muhammad sallallahu alayhi wa to dinner and then put poison in his meals. He took one morsel and knew there was poison and stopped eating. He forgave her. Only the next day or two days later, there was a Sahabi who died of the same poison and then Zainab wife of Salam had to face the law of the land for murder. Ali bin Hatim uh, came to see Prophet Sallallahu In the meantime, a poor old lady came and he took Muhammad Sallallahu away to talk in privacy. And he listened to her with all the patience. When he came back, Hazrat Ali said, Muhammad, I had come to see whether you are a king or you are a prophet. Now I know you are a prophet. La ilaha illallah Muhammadur Rasulullah. Once the funeral of a Jewish man was passing by and Muhammad sallallahu alayhi wasallam stood up. People said, Ya Rasulullah, this is a Jewish man. And he said so what? He was a human being. There are many more uh, stories like this, but let me quickly quickly end. When Makkah was conquered, the conquest, conquest of Makkah in 630 common era, all Wakans were present. Muhammad wasallam was there along with thousands of his companions. And uh, the Makkans uh, were wondering what uh, treatment would be given to them. They did say, you are a gentleman. We expect nothing but good from you. And Muhammad Sallallahu Alaihi Wasallam said, لا تصريب عليكم اليوم أنتم التلقار. This day, there is no blame on you. You are free to go wherever you want. Allahumma salli ala Sayyidina Muhammadin Mubarak wa